What if a single discovery could forever change humanity's place in the universe? Scientists using the James Webb Telescope may have just found evidence of life, not on Earth, but light years away. Stay tuned as we uncover what they found and why this changes everything we thought we knew about alien life. How does a telescope positioned 1.5 million kilometers from Earth help us search for life in the universe? That's the question the James Webb Space Telescope is answering in groundbreaking ways. At its core, Webb isn't just a big telescope. It's like a cosmic detective, designed to gather clues from distances we can barely fathom. What makes it extraordinary is its ability to use infrared light. Unlike visible light, which most telescopes rely on, Webb's infrared sensors can see through the thick clouds of gas and dust that often obscure distant worlds. This allows it to peer into what's happening in the atmospheres of exoplanets, worlds orbiting other stars, something the Hubble Space Telescope could only touch on. But looking at alien atmospheres isn't as simple as pointing the telescope and hitting record. One big challenge is distance. Some of these planets are hundreds or even thousands of light years away. To put that in perspective, light, the fastest thing in the universe, would take centuries to get from some of these planets to us. Webb has to capture the faintest hints of light passing through an exoplanet's atmosphere as it crosses its star. This tiny flicker of light carries information about the gases in the planet's atmosphere, but it's not an easy read. False positives, signals that look like they could mean life but don't, are a constant risk. For example, methane, a key biosignature, could emerge from volcanic activity or even chemical reactions, not life itself. Recently, scientists expressed caution about interpreting atmospheric data because gases can sometimes mimic signs of biology when purely geological processes are at play. So, how does Webb actually analyze these atmospheres? Imagine a planet orbiting its star. When that planet passes in front of its star from our perspective, a small fraction of the star's light passes through the planet's atmosphere on its way to Webb. Light passing through a specific gas gets absorbed in unique patterns, which Webb can detect. Think of it like holding up a prism and splitting light into a rainbow, and then seeing notches in that rainbow where specific gases filter out certain colors. For example, when Webb analyzed the exoplanet WASP-39b, it was able to identify water vapor, carbon dioxide, and even sulfur dioxide in its atmosphere. Now, WASP-39b isn't habitable. It's more like a gas giant, similar to Jupiter. But the fact that Webb could pick out these gases so clearly was a huge milestone proving how precise its instruments are. What makes Webb especially powerful is its ability to focus on planets within habitable zones. These zones are the Goldilocks areas around stars, where it's not too hot, not too cold, and liquid water could theoretically exist on the surface. That's where scientists believe the best chances for life lie. Even more exciting, Webb can detect gases linked with living processes, like methane combined with carbon dioxide or even oxygen. These combinations, known as chemical disequilibria, could suggest life tinkering with its environment. Research has emphasized this point, showing that Webb's infrared capabilities can reveal these subtle imbalances, even if the signs of life are faint. This brings us to the discovery sparking so much excitement. Webb recently studied a planet where the atmosphere doesn't quite add up. It found a mix of gases, including a high concentration of methane, alongside carbon dioxide, but with surprisingly little carbon monoxide. That imbalance might hint at biological processes because methane, especially in the quantities detected, usually breaks down quickly without a source replenishing it. What's especially remarkable is that initial analysis suggests geological explanations alone 
don't fully account for the findings. The exact planet remains a topic of focus in the next section, but experts point out the level of precision Webb brings to this discovery is something no other telescope has ever achieved. Hubble, for instance, laid crucial groundwork in studying exoplanet atmospheres, but its sensitivity and wavelength range were limited. Webb takes this work to the next level, combining more detail with broader detection capabilities. Yet, this discovery does more than advance astronomical technology. It shakes up how we define the search for extraterrestrial life. What Webb brings to the table isn't just technical excellence. It's a new way of thinking about life's existence. What would we need to confirm these hints of biology? Could current instruments go further in eliminating the possibility of false positives? These are the questions moving us beyond speculation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible as we piece together the puzzle of life in the universe. That's where things truly get interesting. Webb's data might not provide a direct yes or no answer to whether we're alone, but these findings shift the conversation. It's not just about detecting a single molecule, it's about looking at the bigger picture, the interactions between different gases, and what they could mean. And this planet Webb studied has such interesting signals that it's sparking major speculation. As we explore the planet itself in the next section, this discovery hints that we're redefining the rules of how we hunt for extraterrestrial life moving forward. Out of the thousands of exoplanets discovered so far, one stands out in a way that's impossible to ignore. Meet K218b, a planet orbiting a star about 120 light years away in the constellation Leo. It's not a rocky Earth twin, but that's part of what makes it so unique. K2-18b is classified as a sub-Neptune, meaning it's significantly larger than Earth, with a radius more than twice the size of ours. Despite this, it exists within the habitable zone of its star, a region where conditions might allow liquid water to exist. Is that it orbits a red dwarf star, which is smaller and cooler than our sun, a planet this size, in such a location, isn't where scientists initially expected to find potential signs of life. And yet, that's exactly what the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered. So, what did Webb detect? The planet's atmosphere isn't just a random mix of gases. Through its advanced infrared capabilities, Webb identified an unusual combination that includes methane, carbon dioxide, and most surprisingly, dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, DMS is almost exclusively produced by living organisms, primarily by microscopic plankton in the oceans. This molecule is an intriguing biosignature, and the presence of even minute amounts in K218b's atmosphere has scientists paying very close attention. Normally, a planet of this size might not be expected to have such a chemistry. Sub-Neptune planets often have thick, hydrogen-rich atmospheres, which can create conditions that dilute or mask life-produced molecules. Yet here, the chemicals are present in ratios that suggest something out of the ordinary is happening. Earth provides a fascinating comparison. Our planet's atmosphere holds methane, carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen in intricate balance, shaped largely by our biosphere. For example, plants and aquatic microbes release oxygen, while animals contribute carbon dioxide. Methane on Earth, especially, has strong biological sources. Think swamps, livestock, and as mentioned earlier, microbes. The combination spotted around K218b particularly methane paired with carbon dioxide, but lacking significant carbon monoxide, begins to resemble a type of chemical disequilibrium. But this isn't just about looking for a planet that mirrors Earth. It's about understanding whether interactions in K218 baby's atmosphere could similarly involve life forms adapting to their own unique environment. 
While it's not definitive proof of life, the discovery on K218b marks an extraordinary leap forward. For the first time, we're not just identifying planets, but detecting potential chemical fingerprints that could come from living processes. This shifts the search for alien life from imagination to solid, data-driven science. Imagine what it would mean for humanity to confirm life beyond Earth, how it would reshape our understanding of biology, the universe, and even our own existence. Keep following these breakthroughs, because each discovery brings us closer to answering the ultimate question. Are we alone? For the first time, the answer feels within reach.